what's going on and welcome back to the Blake Bill and Mask channel and today we are back with another Slipknot Mask unboxing and not only are we back with another Slipknot Mask unboxing but y'all see the the bloody hand print on the box here so you know it's a Pale Face and Co Slipknot Mask unboxing and when doing a Pale Face and Co unboxing you gotta go the full extra step there the full nine yards to get your Pale Face Army Pack t-shirt on. Now today from Pale Face and Co we have Bishop and Covert's latest venture into the Slipknot replica mask game as they have replicated the Forum Novelties Jester mask. Now as everybody knows in the hobby that collects Slipknot masks, we all know that this is the mask that Jim Root would use when he first made his Jester masks after he joined the band during the recording of the self-titled album. And what Bishop and Covert have done to bring these masks to life is definitely no easy task at all because these masks were definitely not easy to sculpt, paint, etc. I mean, and these masks originally were not made of the highest quality latex. So if you are able to find an original one, it's either starting to rot or it's going to be rotting or rotted away. So basically, they decided that, hey, people want these masks in their collection still. Let's go ahead and let's uh, replicate these. And they really, really outdid themselves. And me, I'm usually in a lot of uh, Bishop's live streams. So I saw them working on these masks and really showing them off there and I was very lucky to be a part of Group A and get one of these fantastic pieces. And without even opening the box, I'm, I already know I'm blown away with it. I definitely, I've seen some pictures before they sent it, and the mask just looks absolutely amazing. If you're not part of the live streams or interact with Bishop or Covert or uh, Madam Paleface on a regular basis, you're really missing out because those are definitely three great individuals in this hobby and some of the most talented people flat out i mean bishop is absolutely him between him and covert they are absolutely destroying the replica game now that i'm done blowing my friends if you guys could go ahead and drop a like on this video and we'll go ahead and get onto this mask unboxing obviously like i said before i've seen the progress shots and the pictures of these going in i want to get you guys some really up close shots of that and this thing is absolutely freaking awesome and just for my viewfinder there and just looking at it now i can definitely sell that this was way better than the pictures I was getting. Man, Bishop and Covert really, really outdid themselves on these gestures. And, you know, everybody kept saying that these were better than the originals. And I can also contest that these are definitely better than the originals. And unlike the originals, they're not made out of cheap latex. And the casting on this is so thick that it's definitely going to hold up for a very long time. Very thick pull on these masks. Paint work on this, in my opinion, is absolutely superb. And I think the paint work is what makes these replicas better than the originals. And now, now granted, these masks were a little pricey at $275, but the, the quality that you're getting in these masks definitely cannot be beat. It's definitely going to last you a long time. And like I said earlier, the originals are rotting away. And if you can find one that isn't rotting, Within a year, maybe two, it's going to be rotting. If not, you know, some of the rotting ones are going to be rotted away completely. So your best bet is to get one of these from Pale Face. If they're still taking orders on them, I'm not sure if they're still taking orders on them, but you can get a hold of Madam Pale Face and she'll let you know. And I believe all these are being numbered, and I was lucky enough to get the 14th mask out of the mold. So I'm definitely very proud of that. I'm definitely very proud to have this in my collection. Stoked to have it. Like I said, at the $275 price point, I think it was 100% worth it because this mask is absolutely flawless. And if you do pick one of these up, you will not be disappointed. And this will be in your collection for a very long time. Enough of me rambling. I'll go ahead and get you guys some up-close shots of this. And this has been Blake Billman here at the Blake Billman Mask Channel reminding you to strive to be mask elite.